Hey there, what are we doing today? Well, today I'm going to unstuff and restuff my dollar bill savings challenge binder. I got these from Reinventing Renee, uh, the dollar bill challenge, the alphabet bucks challenge. It has a couple different names. So my name's Lisa, as always, I'm super glad you're here today. Thank you for showing up, I appreciate you. So, I've kind of gone through here and done a little housekeeping. It used to be every month I could show you my progress because I was always getting extra singles out. With um, different budget changes, I haven't been doing that, so it's taken a little bit longer to fill up the binder, but that's okay. So. I have six letters, actually seven, because I added the letter C for my grandkids. Their name both, one is Caleb, one is Cora with a C. So, um, yeah, I've been, I can't help myself some days. But for this letter, letter B, that is going towards my $5,000 challenge, I have 25 already. I just added these up, took them out, and then now I get to start over with this single dollar bill, a B. So let's color this in. It is in the sense of accomplishment to just even start a challenge for a dollar and fill it every once in a while because that's what it's down to anymore is every once in a while. I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I shove it in there. But it's the consistency that matters for me. And here's some C bucks. You can see we're going by the Federal Reserve, the bank of the Federal Reserve. This C buck is from Philadelphia. I don't get a lot of C bucks, but I haven't gotten a lot of singles lately anyway. Um, because I've been better at budgeting, I guess. And not so free, willy nilly with pulling extra money out. Really trying to get this budget down pat for when my husband does retire, which it'll be a couple years, I think, until he really retires. But he is gonna go part-time. He's been trying to go part-time since June, and then July, then August, and he's still full-time. So, I don't know. I don't ask. I figure he'll tell me when he's ready. So E is for home. I don't have $25 in that one. I have eight. So now we will have $9 in that. And I will take these singles, like this clump of singles, and I will turn them in for fives or tens or whatever at the bank. And then I will show you when I put them in there. And this is for $5,000 challenge, which is good because I am working on that. That's becoming a priority. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay. F is the car binder because we always need funds in our car binder, whether it's saving up for a new car, which would just be the down payment, quite honestly, or tires, because we know tires ain't pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars in Fs, and usually I can find a lot of F bucks. Three, four, five, six, seven. But as I say, I have not been pulling out extra dollars, so I still save the L bucks. Those are, that's when I first started the um, dollar bill savings buck challenge. I would save L bucks because my name is Lisa and I'd save the L's for it just initially because it was L bucks and I called them lucky bucks. You see how that works, right? And then I just decided, well, I'm going to save these up for an anniversary. Um, if you've been here a while, you know our anniversary is the day after Christmas. We've never planned well for it, but last year we saved, I think, $300, two or $300. And we were able to go out with just ourselves and then take the grandkids out as well, because for us, that's fun. We'll treat them. So we only have four more dollars before this is full, the car binder. And then it kind of, then I went and I wanted to do all of the bucks. But for me, that got overwhelming. That's just notes. Don't worry about that. So the next one is G bucks. That's for the medical binder. And I have 25 there. So I might put that towards deductible. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but these two will go to the bank first. So I can get rid of the singles and get uh, fives or tens or 
whatever the case may be. So one G buck, we'll start that over again. And it has been probably a month and a half, maybe two months since I have been able to share this. That's okay. You know, we just keep trying, keep plodding along. And um, good, you know, progress is good. Any progress is good. K bucks is for travel. That's a nice one. See, look at that, $75 saved just in dollar bills. I love it. But I do not have any to put in there. Bummer, sad face. And here are the L bucks or the lucky bucks. And what do we have here? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16. So we have 16 L bucks, which will be fine. I'm okay with it. And I think that puts us at 320. I think we have 300 saved up so far. Oh my God, 16, one, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yes, so we have over three hundred L bucks saved, and I have condensed them down because you know I just hate to show up to a restaurant with all those singles. Plus, then I'd have to count them out. Then they, uh oh, I'm running. They'd have to count them out. Oh Lord, who's making a mess? Me. And we just don't want to do that. So. Let me speed this up for you. Okay, let's double check. Okay, this last one is the one we have to do. I got messy quick, didn't it? Okay, so that'll fill up pretty quickly because we um, we have help at the church. The gentleman who counts the money at my husband's church, he saves the L bucks for us. So that empties out pretty quickly. And we're always grateful for that little help. I mean, we buy the dollars from them. We don't just get the dollars, you know that. So let's put these all back together. So are you guys saving any, um, are you doing the L bucks? Does it, do you do all the L bucks? I did, I got overwhelmed with all of them and I just didn't want to do any more. Isn't that great about budgeting? You can do what you want. And we'll put you back in there, Mr. F buck. Four more there. E bucks, that's taking forever. That's fine. What do we know? We know that it, it just stayed the course. C bucks, it's just for the grandkids. Oh, struggle. Just struggling along. But I let me know what you're doing. If you're doing an alphabet bucks challenge or if you're doing all of them, any of them, just one or two of them. And are you just saving a dollar per letter or two dollars? Which, you know, that's okay too. Or fives. I mean, I could put like five for each B, but then that would take forever. And I'm, I'm kind of an instant gratification person. I like to see it and um, see the results quickly. That's it. So, but these will be going back to the bank at the end of the week. And I think that's it. So let me know. I hope you guys are having a great rest of the day. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.